All right, once again, it's that time of week. Our segment brought to you by our friends at Blush, 9th Street downtown in downtown Pittsburgh. Meeting a new friend today. Yay! Hey! She's coming all the way to us. Where, where, where did you come to Pittsburgh from last? Los Angeles. She was in L.A., so she came all the way. She flew across the coast all the way to be with us in the cold Because in I Pittsburgh. love snow. She, you're not buying that either, are you? <laughs> Emily Parker joining us in studio. In studio. Uh, adult film star, but featured dancer this week at Blush. When did you get into Pittsburgh this week? Uh, yesterday uh, afternoon, so... Okay, first reaction. How much did you freak out when you stepped off the plane and realized how freaking cold it was here? Um, I didn't really freak out, but I was, uh, I was very surprised. Like, I don't know. I felt like I walked outside and was like, I can't move. I'm already frozen. So, <laughs> yeah. He had to pick me up and carry me to the car. I was just like, and then. <laughs> yeah. Now, rumor has it, I, I, little birdie told me this is your first time in Pittsburgh. Is that true? That is true. It's a smart bird. Oh, well, your your impression <laughs> of the city after your first 24 hours or so. You know what? I thought it was going to be like Philly a little bit. It's totally not. And I actually like it here a lot. Everybody's pretty nice. And um, and uh, it's been good so far. So I slept like half of the time. So um, I'm jealous. I haven't had – it's been pretty good. Well, you probably have already won some points because one thing Pittsburgh folks can't stand – is when they're told that Pittsburgh's like Philly. They hate that. No, so you're I was doing good. You're I was doing great. I was warned. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna tell you, everybody is rough, and kind of like Philly. It's like, and, and then I got here and I was like, no, it's not. It's actually, it's but it's everybody's super nice. See, it's not so bad. No, I, it's nothing like Philly actually. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out there one more time. Hey, see, okay, <laughs> like Philly. Be nice to her, people. Come see her. She's, she likes you. Now, speaking of places to come to see. Blush Exotic downtown, 9th Street, downtown Pittsburgh. Also great. Also great. Yeah. Ha- have you have you been past the building yet? Have I been past the uh, building? Have you, have you have you been able to, to go around? Obviously, the building's under oh. renovation, so have they taken you through and shown you everything? And, and shown you, you know what? Going? I actually felt like I was hallucinating while I was walking through there because it is so big, and there's so many like different... Um, I got lost every single time we had to go to my dressing room because uh, it's it's tall. Like all of the, I don't even know, but um, there's like different stairs going everywhere. It's like, I feel like I'm on drugs right now. This is crazy. Like awesome Wonderland type. I know. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Hole, right? mm-hmm. That's what happens when you, they got a lot of big things going on. They're, they're under renovation right now. So there's a lot of different You can't paths. tell though. It's really nice. Uh, it's they're whatever they're doing, they're doing it nicely. And the, the dressing room I actually told him was like the nicest cleanest dressing room i've ever had as a feature dancer in any club i was really shocked like it was surprising now have you met albert the owner and and what were your impressions of him he was very nice i actually met him in august um a couple years ago at the exotic dancer expo and then um again last night so and he you know put a giant box of like chocolate pretzels and stuff on my thing and i was like what we're best friends i didn't even know we were best friends that's so cool <laughs> she likes chocolate i love chocolate just in case you didn't know that i do <laughs> <laughs> one thing I, I've, I've met quite a few ladies that have come through and, and performed at blush and they all say the same thing they just love albert he's a really nice guy yeah so i don't really know him that well but my perception at this point is that he is a really nice guy i hear rumors that albert can actually dance pretty well i so haven't seen him gotta get that. albert cut a rug a little bit see see check out his moves i heard he got the moves like jagger does he i, I, I don't know Did for you? sure but no I, I do hear he's actually a pretty pretty good dancer so should that's... we give him some jaeger and find out <laughs> she's got some ideas man come come check out the idea she's got <laughs> speaking of things that come and check out you mentioned that you've been um, exotic dancer expos, and obviously you've been around the country a lot. So, you put a lot into put a lot of work into dancing. Just how long have you been featured dancing, and, and how much work do you put into it? What do you What do you do to prepare yourself? Well, um, I was actually a dancer for years before I got into the adult film business, um, and then um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then um, I ended up feature dancing. Probably started three or four years ago. Um, and so I don't, I didn't really come into it like blind. Like, I don't know. I've never been on a stage before. I don't really know what I'm doing. So, um, you weren't frozen. Yeah, I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't up there doing the robot, which I should, that, that seems like it would be fun. You so that in there. That's, yeah. a, that's a critical part. Just bring like a, a robot costume. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. So for me, I mean, 
for me, get, I don't really have a, a lot of getting ready stuff, but I do freak out every single time. Poor Brian had to <laughs> witness me having like random panic attacks. And it's only because when I go to a new club for the first time, I think that's like my ritual that I do before I go on stage at every club. I freak the fuck out. Like, oh, sorry about that. We've so been um, worse. I freak out a little bit and then I'm just like, oh my God, what if they hate me? I'm going to go up there and I'm going to be dancing for myself. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. And it, <laughs> ne it never happens. But I feel like if I freak out ahead of time, it just gets it all out. And then, um, and uh, yeah, so it's really fun. Um, one thing I always forget to do before I go on stage is limber up. And then I get on stage and do the splits, and I'm like, "Oh, I totally should have stretched first. We can't have you in the injured reserve awesome. list. We, we need you. We need you 100. percent We need you healthy. I would. I'm like, yeah, that would have been so great if I would have stretched. So usually, like, my planning is like hindsight kind of stuff. Ah, yeah. So is there vomiting involved? No, never. She doesn't even. See, she doesn't in, even puke. We're not in Germany. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> she see, she handles it, but see, she she gets nervous because she wants to do well for you, Pittsburgh. She I do. do well. I really do. You know, which is why you should come down to Ninth Street in downtown Pittsburgh and come and see her all weekend at Blush. She guarantees you she's going to do the best she can for you, and she's not going to puke. I, I, because I, that's just a fucking disgusting. Like, why would I do that? You know. <laughs> and even if, even if anything happens, Brian can handle it because Brian's a pro, right? Brian's I don't man. even puke. On, I don't even puke until like I get in his car and then we leave. That's I like to save that. That's a special thing that I do for Brian. Well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> In the meantime, adult <laughs> entertainer Emily Parker. She's in town all weekend at Blush, 9th Street, downtown Pittsburgh. Come check her out. Josh Taylor, Trib Live Radio.